Welcome to Ahkam SOS, the Ramadan special. I'm your host, Mosin Shah, and joining me is Sheikh Ali Ma'as. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikhna. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Sheikhna, over the last couple of weeks, we've been going through the different Ahkams in regards to Sawm by His Eminence, the Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi. One topic we haven't actually discussed, a lot of people don't even know about, is actually the Zakat al Fitra that you have to pay on, uh, on the Yom al Eid. Can you explain a little bit about this zakah? What is it? How much do I have to pay? And how do I pay it? Inshallah. A'udhu billah as-sami' al-alim min ash-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa sallallahu ala muhammadin wa alihi al-tayyibin al-tahirin. Allahumma salli ala muhammad. After fasting a whole month um, in this sacred and holy month of Ramadan, now it comes the opportunity for the one to purify himself and to purify his wealth by paying an amount and a small amount of what is called zakat alms uh, to the one who is in, in, in need in poverty and as the mas'al is mentioned it is mandatory upon the every individual by the sunset of the Eve of the Eid, Al-Fatr. So it's the last day of fasting, and you have the sunset of that uh, day. The one who is adolescent, he's baligh, and he's sane, conscious, and he's not poor, that's one of the conditions that he has the means of paying. Uh, the zakat is to give um, to the poor, the one who is in need. And he should give on his behalf, number one. So I give on my behalf the zakat al-fitra first. And then whoever is dependent on me, okay, I'm spending on them, let's say the family, the wife, the kids, sometimes brothers, um, sometimes even strange people. You know, I get fosters. I get, I get, let's say, have that type of, you know, generosity of helping the orphans. So dependent on, on me. In such case, I have to give approximately three kilograms worth of, uh, let's say, wheat, barley, dates, raisins, rice, corn, and such like uh, to those who are in need. And I can also uh, substitute that and give the cash, the money, uh, instead of paying or, or giving uh, in the three kilograms of, of rice or, or wheat. So I can send cash abroad, let's say, to the countries which are in need of uh, the money uh, of support uh, and just give the cash. So it's two options I can. I can give the actual food itself or I can give cash uh, to those who are in need. Sheikhna, how does this zakat Al Fitra, how does it differ from the normal zakat that we pay annually? What's the difference? Well, the other type of zakat, which is known as hummus, uh, hummus is different. You pay 20% um, or one fifth of your excess profits and unspent money that you have. So you set a day in, in the year, let's say every, every, every year, let's say the first of Muharram or the first of of the month of Ramadan, or any date you set, uh, and then by the uh, time of that, the time, um, the due of that date every year, you pay the excess, 20% of the excess money you have. If you have 1,000 pounds in your in the bank, you just pay 200, for example. If you have 10 pounds only, you just pay two pounds, and so forth. So that's different, that's hummus, is different than uh, zakat al fitra Zakat al fitra you just pay this amount, it's only, it could be, I don't know, five pounds or four pounds. It depends on the price of, uh, of, of, the, of the wheat or of the barley or of whatever is there on, on that year. So you pay that um, 
and that's it. You don't have to pay the excess amount of your profits. It's just the zakat, a specified zakat. So that's the difference. But we have also the zakat of an'am, the cattle. So mm -hmm. you pay the zakat if you have excess amount of camels or sheep or cows yes. or, or wheat, barley, dates, and so forth. That's a different issue and it be much. belongs to the farmers, those who work in agriculture, in uh, um, farming, and so forth. So we just have to pay the zakat at the moment. Ahsan. Sheikh, that is it mandatory upon everybody? Is there anyone that's actually exempt from paying this, uh, paying this zakat? The one who is exempt from paying the zakat is the one who has no money coming in during the year. The one who is poor, who is faqir, and has no means of income, no business. He has got no business, let's say. A person who you know, hardly finds the bread of his uh, of day you know, to, to have some dinner or, or lunch. They haven't got enough money to pay. Sometimes they're in debt, huge debts, you know, they have to work. So they are known to be uh, poor. Uh, in this case, we pay the zakat fitra to them. And mashallah, there are millions of them in the world today, especially in, in Asia and Middle East, uh, who are in, living in, under the line of poverty even. You know, they have, they're suffering a lot. Sometimes they sleep without even dinner. Mm -hmm. So they are paid zakat al fitra to them specifically. Ahsan. Sheikh, now what about if I have dependents? Um, let's say I'm a father, I have three children. Uh, do I have to pay the zakat on their heads as well? Or is it just people who are baluk and that's it? As I've mentioned, zakat al fitra should be paid um, to. Um, yes, the dependents, even children, even a born child, just recently born, let's say he was born before uh, the eve of the Eid. Okay, you so still have to pay the zakat. During, during Ramadan, let's say two, three days uh, Exactly, before. exactly. Even oh, wow. that uh, newly born baby must be paid on behalf of uh, the zakat al fitr by the, the father who is, okay. you know, the wali. So it's not, it's not a case of only those who are baluk, they have to pay it. No, it's a case that it's, it is wajib upon every head or every member of the household exactly uh, they have to pay this amount normally the father takes care of that and will pay on behalf of the whole family if somebody wants to contribute can they is that okay let's say if one of the, the sons is, is working or has some money or uh, was given some presents uh, some some money as a present can he pay on behalf of his father and, and his family so this is you know there's five people in my household you know i've got 50 pounds here's 30 pounds for the, uh, is that okay? Is that acceptable? Yeah, that's fine. If you want to contribute and um, be generous, that's fine. You can you can basically pay uh, the zakat. It's, it's up to you. I mean, if you want to pay, you can pay. As long as the zakat paid for those heads, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Ahsan. Ahsan. Thank you for clearing that up, Sheikh. Sheikh, um, what happens if it is you know the final night, uh, the the eve of Eid? And I have guests at my house, uh, my brother's family or, you know, friends of, of the family come over. Am I responsible to pay for their zakat al fitr Well, there are two conditions. Number one, if they arrive, the guest arrives before the sunset of the eve of the Eid. And number two, with the consent of the host. So if you agree that they come to you as a guest and you're going to serve them, that's fine. So whoever comes before the sunset, let's say they come for the iftar, last day iftar of the month of Ramadan, it's the 29th or the 30th day of the month of Ramadan, and they want to have the iftar in your house as the last day, final day of, of the month. If they come before the uh, adhan, you know, the sunset, then w with your consent that you're going to accept their uh, being as your guest, and that's fine. Uh, no matter how many they are, you have to pay their zakat or fitra. Uh, however, if they come after the sunset, so I think I remember once uh, in my parents' house, we had we invited the Maulana who read in our center, and he came with his family, and he remained in the in the car 
until the Adhan was called. And then he came into our house for the, um, for the iftar, or for the last yeah. day of the month. So to avoid us to pay the zakat al-fatra. So he knew the masala very well. So he stayed in the car. The adhan was called, yeah. finished. And then he came inside the house. So you, you can do this as well. Or you yeah. can ask your guests, if you don't want to pay, uh, that to come after the adhan al-maghrib, or okay. the sunset. So um, it's just because if they come to the house and the hilal was you know, seen, was, was sighted, the crescent, and they were remained in your house in that time, in that period, then you have to pay, of, of course, with the consent, the zakat al-fatra. Wow. But as guests, you are more than happy, you are more than um, allowed to actually contribute to that, no? If I came to someone's house on, on, on the final night of Ramadan, uh, before Maghrib time, the adhans happened, I'm there, and I said, oh, here's my family, there's five of us, you know, here's our contribute, here's 30 pounds for the uh, zakat al-fitra. Is that, is that okay? Is that acceptable? Or the, per, the landlord or the person, the head of the house has to pay for everybody there? Now, as I've mentioned, you need the consent of the host. But if you, as a guest, want to pay it, that's fine. You can contribute. It's, okay. it's your choice. You know, whoever pays, what is important that it has to be paid uh, on all the heads in that house at the end of the eve, so of the, of the eve. That's important. So, Sheikhna. Who do I pay my zakat of fitra to, and should it go to a just mu'min, an adil person? Well, you have to pay the zakat of fitra to those who believe in the life of Ahlul Bayt and um, they shouldn't be just or adil, hundred percent. You know, if you know them, they are mu'minin. They come to the centers, to the mosque. Uh, in overall, they are mu'min. That's fine. You pay them zakat al-fatra to all, in overall. They are mu'mineen. Okay. They're believers, pious believers. However, what the Sayyid says here, that it should not be given as an obligatory precaution, as a ihtiyat wujubi, um, to the one who drinks alcohol, God forbid, okay. or to the one who openly practices disobedience. He does adultery, and so forth. Okay. Um, such person, the zakat fatwa won't be paid to him or to her. Um, otherwise, if you know him a mu'min in overall, that's it. You just give it to that poor mu'min, the zakat al fatwa. Okay. And is there a difference between giving it to a sayyid and a non sayyid? As in, can a non sayyid give his zakat al fatwa to a sayyid? Or are there rules uh, pertaining to that? Well, according to Sayyid, he says that it is not permissible as a precaution, as a ihtiyat, um, for one who is a non-Sayyid, like me, myself, for example, as a Shaykh, to give the zakat al fitra to a Sayyid, let's say to you, for example. Mm. You're in a situation, you need zakat. You're a Sayyid, I'm not allowed. So a non-Sayyid cannot give zakat al fitra to a Sayyid. Okay. So that's why you have I'm sure you've seen this in the many centers and mosques. They put two boxes, one yes. for the Sayyids, for the yes. Sadah, and one the for the non Sadah. Yes. So for me, I have to put on the box which says for the non Sayyids. Mm -hmm. And then you, as I said, you give it to the Sayyids and so forth. So it's important that we um, ask for who to pay for when it comes to the Zakat al Fatra. It's important because sometimes it gets mixed, you know. Who shall I give it to you? Sometimes they give it to the Sayyids, and they're not Sayyids. Mm -hmm. So we have to make sure that it reaches the right uh, people and, and, and the right category, Sayyids or non-Sayyids. Sheikhna, don't you think this is a bit um, prejudiced? Don't you think that this is a bit unfair that, oh, you know, a Sayyid cannot receive zakah from a non-Sayyid? And um, don't, don't you think this causes a bit of, you know, uh, disunity? between the Shia Ummah? Well, initially, this is the ahkam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the, the way of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa the, the sunnah of the Prophet. So, we follow whatever they say. And number two, we see that the khumus goes only for, we have a khumus for the sadah, 
That's a specific one. Specific. Yeah. And they don't get zakat. They're not allowed to get zakat. Yeah. So that's actually some kind of um, giving them a high rank to the Sadr that they get the hummus and they're not allowed to get the zakat. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's, it's vice versa. It's given to the Sadr, to the Sayyid's uh, more high rank and high pos position and status that they don't get just uh, normal sadaqah. Ahsan Shaykh, thank you very much. And thank you to all the viewers for joining us. Inshallah, you will be able to pay your zakat al fitr inshallah, with no issues whatsoever. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.